In this video, we will be studying the Wheel Felix test. The Wheel Felix test is a lab test which is used for the detection of rickettsial shell infections. Let's first talk about the principle involved in the Wheel Felix test. Suppose this is an antigen on rickettsia. It has been found that the antigens on rickettsia resemble the antigens present on the surface of Proteus bacteria. Suppose this is a human who has rickettsial infections, so he has these rickettsial antigens in his body and his immune system will produce many antibodies against those antigens. Now since the rickettsial antigens resemble the Proteus antigens, so these antibodies will cross react with the antigens present on the surface of Proteus. So to do this test, we take the blood sample from that patient and we separate the serum from the blood. And there are two methods of doing this test, the tube test and the slide test. Let's first talk about the slide test. Now uh, we take a slide and put a drop of the serum. And next we put a drop of the proteus antigen onto the same slide. We wait for one minute and if agglutination occurs, this indicates that the test is positive. Talking about the tube test, now this test is mainly done to detect the titer of the antibodies into the sample of the patient. So to do this test, we set up multiple test tubes and we put the serum of different dilutions into each test tube. Suppose this is the test tube with the least diluted serum and this is the test tube with the most diluted serum. And next, we put a drop of Proteus antigen into each of the test tube. We incubate these test tubes for 4 to 6 hours at 50 to, degree, 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. And flocculation indicates that the test is positive. And the test tube with the most diluted serum which shows flocculation or agglutination indicates the titer of the antibodies present in the serum. A wheel felix test has its downside also that it has a very low sensitivity and specificity. So many new tests have come up in place of the wheel felix test. So this was a short video about the wheel felix test. I hope you find this video informative. Make sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe for upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching this video.